Berlin hat ja ganz viel Kultur. Berlin offers a lot of culture, and it's important to have some free events. Students like me don't have that much extra cash. I'm never sure how much I'll have left each month. Culture can be pricey, whether it's in a museum or on stage. Someone has to make sure the artists get paid. Just the buildings swallow millions of euros in upkeep. Berlin's Pergamon Museum is just one example. The Staatsoper, one of three opera houses in Berlin, is a huge building site. Luckily for Berliners, culture doesn't have to cost a lot. In the center of the city, on the famed Museum Island, hundreds gather outside for free classical concerts every Sunday during the summer. Donations are voluntary. <laughs> It's great to spend summer evenings with friends here, she says, to have a picnic when the weather's so beautiful. Tonight's featured performer is Andrei Ionica, an award-winning cellist from Romania. We actually reach people who otherwise wouldn't be that interested in classical music, she says. People out for a stroll stop to listen too. And that's what gives this summer series a kind of Berlin flair. It's for everyone, it's free, and it's in the open air. No one walks away disappointed from this kind of concert. It's loads of fun. As an artist, I can really feel the energy and attention of the audience. I find that really interesting. I can tell it's unusual for people to hear this kind of music. Everyone is super friendly, and they're delighted to enjoy such a nice evening. So culture doesn't always have to be costly, at least not in Berlin on a summer night.